Good day, human Latiosites. This is Latios Azubril, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Shuffle. So, let us begin. Last time we took on Zygarde 50% for the hundredth time. This time, we're actually going to be looking at some new stuff, because we have the 500th Pokemon available in this game, Ash Greninja. So, Ash Greninja appears, can you defeat this powerful foe in a uh, limited amount of time? So they recommend bringing Ampharos and an attack power up. So at first I was going to use the attack power because they suggested it, but I figured, you know what? Let's actually try this without it. So I'm going to actually do try this itemless. Now I figure in the long run I'm probably going to end up spending this um, 3,000 coins or 2,500 on a Great Ball in the long run. Probably anyway. But either way, this way at least is refundable just in case it fails. So I'm just going to try it itemless. So one of the uh, the big things is just going to keep the combo going. Because I know I'm not going to be triggering very much or if anything, especially if the combo's going. So I might as well just try to do what I can. So I'm, luck I'm luckily going to be able to get that Mega Evolution off pretty quickly. So at this point, it's just all about just keeping that combo going. Because I'm, I'm fairly confident it's going to end up breaking at some point in the foreseeable future. But all I can do is try to avoid it. So. It's all about just, just uh, landing these, uh, getting these to happen. So I'm going to actually get a 60 combo there, which is a lot better than I expected it to go. However, time is dwindling. So, what can I say other than just keep those uh, matches going? So I'm actually going to be able to beat this thing with 7 seconds remaining, which, honestly, I really don't mind considering it was itemless. So with that, we actually did defeat the Ash Greninja. The question is, can we actually catch it? Now, luckily, this thing actually has a decent catch ability. So we're going to get up to 25% with the um, 7 seconds remaining, which definitely isn't bad. Of course, it's not going to stay in the Pokeball. But we're going to 50%. However, we are going to actually get that super catch power, which is really nice bringing it up to 96%. So honestly, I could save my coins and just go for another, and try it again and go for a Pokeball. But honestly, I'm just going to go for the Great Ball because 96%, I can't complain. I, I really can't complain. So we're also going to get 200 back for beating it. So it has an attack power of 70, the obvious water typing, and the ability power of 4+. plus. Yeah, this thing actually is our first water type, or only water type, as far as I know, with power of 4+. plus. My favorite, uh, probably my favorite uh, skill in the game, and my favorite typing. So hey, you know, this will be uh, cool to go in a water team with Mega Swampert, perhaps in place of the uh, Mind Zapper, <laughs> i.e. Greninja. Alright, so at this point I'm actually going to try out the Mega Blaziken competition, which is back, but it's a little different. This time it's very much like the Sceptile one. Of course, first I have to actually check in. It's interesting how they added the new stages, but you still have to check in in order to actually go online. Either way, that's fine. Extra data is always appreciated. So we're just going to download some extra data. Now, interestingly, the uh, the Ash Greninja, it's, um, since it's not available on... It's like the Zygarde forms, other than 50%, that is, uh, I mean, it's available in Picross, available in Shuffle now, but not in the main games. So, it's kind of interesting, really. It's also kind of cool that this Ash Greninja is the 500th Pokemon to be available in Shuffle. Kind of cool. So that's what we're actually going to get 500 coins for uh, checking in, which is kind of nice considering we just spent 2,500 on that Ashburn Ninja for the Great Ball. So, back to Mega Blaziken. Also, Infernape and Keldeo Ordinary Form are back for uh, the next, I guess, two weeks. So, limited move um, format, fast match is available. So, the prizes are, if you're in the top 3,500, you get a Blazikanite and the Raisinax level. In the top 22,000, you get the Blazikanite. Um, other than that, you get the attack power or the disruption delay. However, if you already have the Blazikanite, then instead you get a Mega Speed Up instead of the Mega Stone, which definitely isn't bad. I actually do like it that way, to be honest. This way, at least you get something 
better than a, uh, a jewel, which is worth like 3,000, which is pretty much worth the same thing as the attack power you get otherwise. So in the long run, yeah, it makes no difference between getting the jewel or getting the attack power. I mean, I guess it does in, um, in, actually, on, uh, mobile, you'd be better off with the attack power than the jewel. Although, then again, you'd be getting the Blaziken Knight since it's the first time it's available there. So I'm actually going to try this item list first to give it a, a chance. So the items available, there's no complexity even though there are nine tails as the non-support. So that kind of, it's kind of unfortunate. I'm actually going to use Mega Garchomp, even though I probably would get some decent results if I use Mega Rayquaza, but honestly, I have a fully candied Garchomp, so it's super effective. Mine's will go with it, I figure. I don't know. I feel like Rayquaza would also do really well here. Even though it's not super effective, it would probably lead to a lot more combo potential. Now, I'm probably not gonna get the, um, I'm probably not the best with combos, especially when I'm being timed like this, because I'm just gonna try to make whatever moves I can in the limited amount of time I have, because I'd rather get that 1.5 time bonus than... That multiplier, I feel like, would help more than a lot of those combos would. So I'm gonna go for a lot of T-Tar, only because I want to get better combos, and usually by ejecting something it increases combos. One of the big issues that I had was that when I was looking for T-Tar, sometimes I saw Ninetales, and they look a little similar when you're looking at it really, when you're looking fast, because of the color. Not because they look at all similar, but because of the, the, uh, the color design. The palette just, they look a little similar. Can't really, uh, I, I don't know how else I can explain that. So I'm just gonna do what I can. I figure if I can break if I can break 25k item lists, I can't complain. <laughs> I mean, this is just an, an attempt to to get a decent look at what this stage looks like. I'm not a huge fan of these whole uh, timed uh, well these these hybrid uh, timed and move based stages. I'd rather I'd much rather just see them have a uh, either timed or move-based, rather than timing a move-based one to get the multiplier. To me, that just seems like overkill. I don't know. Either way, we're gonna get some decent combos, more or less, and I'm actually gonna end up breaking 30k here, which I cannot complain about. I feel like 30,000 isn't bad, especially for itemless. I mean, it's not technically itemless per se, since it is a fully candy Garchomp, but still, I still can't complain too much. So, I'm actually going to try it again, but this time with all the items, but it's not as bad as you would think, because there's no complexity available, it's just the Mega Start Disruption Delay and the Attack Power. So, with the Mega Start, it kind of leaves the candies moot, because <laughs> the Mega, the Mega Speed Up, kind of is irrelevant when you have a Mega Start, but still. I am going to try it with Garchomp again, just to go for a super effective hit, and I figure if I can get some combos from there, that would be good, even though there's a good chance Rayquaza could also help, but at the same time, since there are these Ninetales here, I figure there's that it's not going to help as much with Mega Rayquaza, only because Mega Rayquaza is probably, since there's five Pokemon on the field, it's not going to be able to get and take care of all of them. So with there, I actually was trying to get the uh, the T-Tar to the top, and I kept on accidentally dragging it to the second at top row, which wasted some time when you get down to it. So it's all about being more careful, I guess, with that. So I'm just going to try to go for Guard Chomp whenever I feel like it's possible, because Guard Chomp is going to get us the best combos, Guard Chomp is going to get us the best uh, damage, and ultimately it's going to get us the, the most points. So, the, the bottom line is I know I, I'm definitely going to end up doing better this time than last time. Unfortunately, though, in like half the moves, I still didn't end up doing uh, better. So, I, I know that I'm going to, I'm not going to be doing proportionally well, well, at least not marginally better than the first attempt, even though that was itemless and this time I'm going all items. All it's about is making these moves quickly, because if you can get if you can get a slightly less good but decent-ish combo with all the items, or at least with the uh, within the time frame you're given, 
then it'll work out better than a uh, slightly better one without the time without that 1.5 bonus. I mean, you don't have to do it in the time limit. Well, each move, however, you get a decent bonus if you do it in that time limit, which definitely makes a difference. So one of my concerns is the fact that since there's 30 moves, a lot of scores in this uh, competition are probably going to end up being fairly high, because you get so many turns to do this. So I'm only going to actually get a score of like 61,629, which... Definitely could be better. I might try this again at some point over the next week while I continue with the uh, Zygarde 50% form. I am going to continue with the Zygarde Escalation Battle. I don't know exactly how far I'm going to go. Probably not on screen since a lot of it's going to be similar to the stages already done. The only difference is going to be more health. Other than that, I really don't know, and hopefully I can actually skip some of the stages because of the uh, angry Zygarde. That said, thank you for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. I wish you guys the best of luck in either getting your Blaze at Night, getting your Mega Speed up, or getting your Raise Max levels. And with continuing those Zygarde Escalation battles for those who are still doing it. Wish you guys the best of luck. Have a great week with this stuff. And I'll see you guys next time. Good. Bye.